Since I had that last lesson, I really haven't hit it well at all. Okay. All right, well, it's been a few weeks and you've had a bit of time to practice in between uh, our last couple of lessons. So I know we worked a little bit on, our, on your grip and your setup. So talk me through the things that you have, uh, you have found with your practice since our session. Well, I was playing golf with Billy, my mate. Yep. And he was telling me that my backswing was a bit funky. Okay. So what I've been working on is I've been working on taking the club straight back. Okay. But I'm I'm not hitting it very well. Yeah. Okay. So have you worked at all on the grip and the, the ball position, or not really? No. Okay. Billy. Okay. Said right. my backswing no, that's was fair wrong. Enough. So what um what does Billy shoot when he plays golf? Oh, about a hundred. About a hundred. Sounds like Billy's a bit silly to me. Why would you listen to Billy? Why do you want to listen to Billy? He's a good bloke. Okay. Does he know what he's talking about from a golf perspective? <sighs> Probably not. Yeah. Okay. Are you picking up what I'm putting down here, Brian? I might have been a bit silly. This happens This happens quite a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so what do I have to do? I've got to not worry about my backswing? Well, we don't really want to worry about your backswing because Billy doesn't know what he's talking about. And neither does anyone else's other halves, neither does anyone else's friends. With respect to them, they might be trying to help, but they're probably not going to help, are they? No. So I want us to stick with what we worked on last time. We need to improve that very strong grip that you've got. And yep. we need to get that ball position a little bit further back for you. And that's okay. what we're going to try and work towards today. And hopefully between now and next lesson, you will not listen to Billy because you will not be so silly. And then we're going to come back next time we'll have made some headway. Yeah, Billy's a dentist. Right, okay. So what do you go to Billy for? Dental issues. And what don't you go to Billy for? Golf swing issues. Cool, because if you come back next time and you have listened to Billy, you might need to go see your dentist because I won't be very happy with you. <laughs> All right, you've got me. So I've got to fix my grip up. Yes, please. That looks beautiful. Very good. Okay. Look at that ball position. That's perfect. Look at that, everyone's happy. <laughs> I'm about the balance, Brian, but we can work on that next time. All right, thanks, Alex. So what's the moral of the story here? Listen to the right people. How many people have experienced what we just played around with there? You've come to a golf lesson, and I have one this morning, and the guy didn't do what he was supposed to do, just like I didn't do what Alex told me to do. And it happened so many times, and this guy was listening to his mate, and his mate's a really nice bloke, but it just wasn't gonna help him at all. He hadn't done what I did, and he told me he'd been playing bad, and I thought, that's strange. We haven't really done much with his golf swing to make him hit it bad. So we got back to just a couple of key things, and he started nailing it. So if you pay money for a golf lesson, listen to the golf pro. How long have you been a golf pro? For? Nearly, nearly 10 years. So you've yeah. done thousands of lessons. Yeah, probably. I've been a golf pro for 39 years, nearly 40, and I've done over 50,000 lessons. So when someone says, oh, your backswing's wrong, do they think that I've missed it or you've missed the problem? Probably not, yeah. But we have to prioritise. There could be an issue with the backswing, but we're gonna make the one thing that's gonna make the biggest change. So listen to your golf pro, particularly if you've paid money, listen to the expert, don't go looking to your dentist for golf advice. And if you haven't yet paid money for a golf lesson and you are listening to Billy the Dentist, maybe it's time to invest your money into some golf lessons. <laughs> exactly. Now, if you want to improve your golf, we're going to put a link to another video just up here I know is going to help improve your golf.